And unpredictable weather patterns in the past few years have caused massive crop failure in various parts of the country, raising concerns about food security. However, farmers in Nyakach are adopting new crops with the help of the private sector to upscale food production in the wake of an impending dry spell later in the year. Wasare village in Nyakach, the decline in rainfall in the past two weeks is starting to take a toll. Crop failure is evident. Thomas Oonga had been a tomato farmer for five years. The high cost of production drove him out of business. All he had was a three-acre piece of land in a dry area. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has warned that the country might suffer food insecurity, which is partly attributed to the greater effects of climate change. Wasari, being one of the several areas called out by the Ministry of Agriculture in 2019 for over-reliance on maize farming despite the unfavorable weather patterns. The private sector is now jumping in to save sheep and provide alternative cropping. Nafanya cassava na hasa tunajaribu pia ku, ku, kuongeza na adoption of, of soya. This variety of cassava is resistant to both drought and disease. However, getting farmers to adapt to cassava farming in an area previously dominated by poor agricultural practices has been daunting. Kulikuwa na varieties za cassava ambazo zilikuwa poisonous ambazo watu wengi walikuwa wanaogopa kupanda. Kwa sasa hivi varieties and as the country struggles to fight against the cost of climate change and food insecurity, residents of Wasare are seeing this crop as a silver lining in a dark cloud. For them, this will be the lifeline that will save the country not only from food insecurity but also cater to the problem of unemployment and boosting the nutrition of the society. Laura Tieno, Citizen TV, Kisumu County.